Now the fuel pump just still ain't too healthy on this 92 Dodge. It is running a bit. But I thought I'd see if this car, since we did have some success with it last time, is going to run today. Being I got all my Toyotas working now. That's cool. So now we just have this van and the turd to get running. Okay, Brian Spencer, let's see what's going to happen. Got a better battery in here this time. The 1.3 Not Swift, aka Geo Metro. Oh, yeah. It's hard to hold the camera and do that at the same time. Anyways. Can't she? She's a geo. Ooh. Yeah. What did I say? Ooh. <laughs> oh well. Running like a Toyota today, anyways. Since Toyotas are the best. So I've replaced the ignition coil on this turd. Let's see if it's going to start. I think it, that's why it had intermittent spark and why it ran sometimes and sometimes it didn't run and sometimes it fired right up and sometimes it took a long time to fire. All right, let's see if I'm right. I have no idea. Crunch, crunch, creak, creak. Doing the same thing, starting and dying. What the hell? What the? Foot to the floor. No throttle. Totally doesn't make sense. How could it run in the winter time and not start now? God, I hate this thing. Well, believe it or not, after a lot of farting around, I finally got her fired up. It wasn't the coil. It just kept starting dying, starting dying. Didn't make any sense. The fuel pump was running fine. There sits Redneck gas can, which we've had in there since I've owned the car for two years. But as soon as I hooked up the spare redneck gas can that came from a damn Marquise that Jen destroyed, the stupid car fired right up. So I was checking and there was fuel pressure coming out all the time from the Schrader valve on the manifold. So I guess that fuel pump just wasn't putting out enough pressure yet. It sounds totally normal. Strange. That's the little nipple behind the distributor that I was checking the pressure with. with. Every time I touched it, it shot out to about there. But anyways, she's running. That's a good thing. And for a 3.8, it doesn't have blown head gaskets and it sounds totally sweet. So now we can play in the mud and destroy her a little more. Some revenge. Piece of turd. Now to put that same gas can in this van and see if it fires up. Alrighty. Had a broken fuel line underneath as soon as I got this thing hooked up and pressurized. You know, rust and rot. Spraying everywhere. Wouldn't want to catch a grass fire in all this dry brown grass. So let's finally see if this thing fires up. This will be the last one to get running in 2009. Well, I guess except for the Aerostar van with a seat in the air. Oh yes! Ha ha ha! Sounds like new too. Cool! Love it! I knew my Dodges couldn't let me down.
we, no matter how beautiful they are, Shut her down. Well, not after a little rev, of course. Need a red line for a good time, don't forget it. Cool.